Er Erwin asked the question that I think you may have may have addressed in, in that response, but you, you tell me if you want to elaborate on this one. He's asking if there are patterns of changes in purification strategies based on classes of the of new, newer classes of antibodies. Anything? Um, I, I think the most important one that I have seen around me in different facilities and talking to uh, the experts is um, a notion around like the hybrid um, hybrid manufacturing, right? Um, uh, I mean, we have heard a lot with regards to, um, we know that continuous manufacturing is able to theoretically bring the cost a lot down, but there are a lot, there are a lot of difficulties in rolling it out. So I'm, I'm very curious from audience if they have other thoughts or other experiences, if they can share here um, with regards is, I am more uh, thinking in the direction of like a, a hybrid processing where we actually on spot address um, uh, essential questions that you're facing. Like the example that a couple of times mentioned so far uh, on the capture side or on the harvest side, right? These are the two key aspects that we see uh, major drawbacks of them. And there are solutions uh, for them. Like um, um, uh, there are, for example, I guess it was um, an article by KBI or Biogen listing down actually the um, different measures that people do in order to um, reduce the burden on the downstream steps. Uh, one of those examples is actually use of the flocculation uh, agents in the cell culture, right? And there you're able actually to strip off uh, part of your XCPs and DNAs and in a way um, make it uh, cleaner for your downstream processing. Uh, like selection of precip selective precipitation using polymers, for example, um, uh, or aqueous two-phase separations. These are some of a bit like a newer uh, or more less established, less used uh, techniques out there, as opposed to the flocculation that uh, people use early on in order to actually to um, remove um, unwanted um, uh, components from their culture and make it ready for uh, for their process. So. I think that that is one of the uh, two aspects that I see there with regards to the uh, changes that uh, people apply for the bi-specific, right, um, uh, and other other modalities also in order to uh, process them efficiently. 